What's up YouTube? We are back after a couple months of not making anything. Decided it was time to step up my game, so we're out here at a uh, Roy G uh, disc golf course in Austin, Texas, and I'm going to be playing just a normal round, but I'm gonna give myself, I think I'm gonna give myself eight mulligans and see what I can shoot. So I just get eight extra throws, can use as many as I want on one hole. Um, and yeah, we're gonna see what I can shoot from the shorts. So I uh, hope you all enjoy. That wasn't the best shot, but I know I can get up and down. I'd rather use my mulligans later on, so. We, uh, we started on hole two because the ac access to hole one is just a little funky right now at this course. Um, so that was hole two, and then I'll finish obviously on, on a hole one, but even, even through one, zero mulligans used. Coming up on hole three, it's about 342 feet. I'm uh, just a straight guy. I'm trying to I'm trying to get a two on this one. I might use a mulligan if I don't get it on this first shot. But I think we will. That is gonna be so parked. Yeah. That's good. It wasn't I think it hit that log and bounced back a little bit. Because I know it definitely hit it, but we're gonna have to fix that. Maybe I should have used the mulligan. I don't know. Let's, let's see. First part of the day. I don't think I'm going to use another mulligan. Or I'm going to use one of them. Still even after two holes. We're on hole four now. A little slow turnover. Um, it's starting to sprinkle and I don't have any towels because I didn't know it was going to rain. So um, We might not finish. Actually, no, I think I'm going to use a mulligan. Yes. That works. Okay. Right. That works. We can hit that. I think I might have wasted a mulligan. I thought I was so much closer. Alright. So there it is, even with one mulligan used. That was way closer. Sorry, we're gonna get going in here. We got the first par four coming up. I feel a little, a little warmed up. Let's see if I can get a, get a drive going. And uh, see if we can uh, get the birdies rolling. This is the first part four, we'll see. It is 745 feet. And it just winds itself. I mean, it's pretty much straight ahead, slightly to the left. So you wanna just throw your straightest, longest disc and just be in the middle of the fairway, ideally. Yep, like that. 
Yep. That's, that's prime time. So we're in pretty good position right here. See the basket right there, probably, uh, uh, like 370-ish maybe, maybe close to 400. Um, and normally, you know, it gives you a good line. You can go straight down the middle with a little soft hyzer, but I think I'm gonna go big hyzer up over everything and try to just um, spiker somewhere near the basket and uh, get an easy look. This is my first throw with this destroyer. I just lost it um, for like a month or two, and one of my buddies just gave it back to me. So. I don't know, maybe, maybe she got flippy, but. Get up. She was gonna be parked. She just had to get up a little bit more. Um, I think I'm gonna have to rub one more. I think I am. So money. I right, where the second one landed. The first one was a little bit just behind this guy. Um, we gotta make a putt, guys. This isn't, this isn't looking too good for me. All right, we might need to come up with a new strategy. I can't be running those. I was out here yesterday and was just like hitting metal from everywhere, so the circle two putts are killing me right now, though. I ain't hitting metal. So that puts us one up. Um, one up, and we've used two mulligans. Six mulligans to go. We gotta, we gotta get this roll. Here we go. Here's a par three. We can get this one. Doesn't help with my disc being damp either. Yeah, there's a little trail that goes through this course, so you get people walking in front of you all the time. I don't know how I haven't hit anybody yet. It might be actually a little long, but we'll be good. I think I'm gonna start using my mulligans maybe only on putts. Cause drives, it just seems like there's too many variables that can go wrong. Your putt, chances of you making the second one if you're close are pretty, are pretty good. Go. Like for a putt like this, if I were to miss this, I'd probably use a mulligan. I don't know what, I don't know what I was thinking before. Yeah, I guess um, I was trying to go into hero mode, you know? Have a bad shot and be like, oh no, I can just park this second shot, you know? No. <laughs> Not there. So, there we go, one down. That was hole six, so hole five for us, because we started on two. So, that puts me at even with two mulligans used. Here we go, here is hole seven. Um, I would take pictures of the maps of the hole but a lot of them are ripped off so um there's really not much i can do but the basket is way down there probably another 700 footer um we're just gonna try to pump something down this this front or this middle gap
can get up and down. I was just a hair too inside and it went through a little tiny gap. Yeah, when I was out here yesterday, I was just pulling things over. So came out today trying to just be a little bit slower and get my timing down. So I might be coming up a short, coming up short on a couple of these guys, but you know, it is what it is. We got a good little forehand line here. I wish you could switch the camera to the face camera, but here we go. This is where I ended up. Basket is right there. Where we're gonna go. Let's put a destroyer on a little flick and see if we can get up to the basket. Use a mulligan right here. There we go. Third. Okay, so this, this would be my third time of thinking that I was parked. <laughs> Still being like 50 short. Yeah, classic. Classic. Even through six holes using three mulligans is we are hole eight. Um, 330 feet down to the left, just playing a rock three. Just a soft little hyzer all the way down. That looks pretty good. Sorry, that was, there was this girl over here, I heard there's a golf course that runs along the, the this golf course, and this girl's dog was off leash and <laughs> sprinted on the golf course. I was blocking these guys over here who were trying to tee, and she's just yelling, yelling at her dog to come back. This is hole nine, our hole eight. Basket's right over there, it's about 3.30. We're gonna throw a forehand and a hyzer flip up. We, uh, we got the birdie on the last hole, so that puts us at one down officially um, with three mulligans used. So, got a couple par threes here and another par four, so we're going to try to get going. We're going to try to get going, try to get a couple holes in without having to use a mulligan and still be scoring. See if we can get one right here. No way I'm not getting this one. This is an easy flip. Okay. That gives us a putt. For people who comment below, that's that's the third time I said I wasn't gonna do that. And I did it. That's the third or the fourth. I don't know. But we're walking up here, we got a 20 foot, not 25 footer. We got this, we got it. Well, does it count if I make, if I make, you know, if I actually score from the mulligan from the, from the, from the tee? I guess it doesn't count. You can't use that against me. And we're not gonna miss this one, so. Definitely can't use it against me. At this point, we're on hole 10, so my hole 9. We are two down, and I have four mulligans left. So I got a really good, I got a shred. I got to play pretty good these next couple holes and only use them if I absolutely have to. Get a kick right. That's 
fine. Nope. This one does have a picture, another par four, 708. Just straight shot, all the way down. Going Big Z Zeus. A little, a little hyzer, let it finish right. That was good. Gotta look up our shot. Basket is right over there. I think I have to go in instinct, I think. Just, uh, I'm gonna play something real overstable. Basket's kind of back there. So I'm going like destroyer and playing a big flare skip. It's a little too tight. Yeah, that's really the only thing you don't want to do on this hole is hang it too tight because you have all these trees. And that's what I did. Hit a tree and kicked out further right, so. I didn't realize the camera fell there, but um, tapped in for my, for my par there. There's a good hole, 317, slow turnover the whole way. We definitely want this one. Go. I'll put this at uh, three down. Another par four, about 700 feet. It's just gonna slow turn over almost the whole way, so I'm going flippy destroyer. The basket's down there a ways. I think I'm gonna try to put a roll down and probably about at least 400 short. I'm trying to get, yeah, put like a roller down, get it to cut roll a little bit and then pop up. I didn't have a mini, so I just had to kind of naturally mark it, but here's where my roller land landed. Um, shoot, that was tripped. Just slowly goes left while this follows this little path all the way down. Um, I'm probably gonna try to go just get one as far down there as I can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Okay. We got about 200 feet of skip there. For where I 
hit the ground back there, I would say this is a pretty decent spot. Probably another 350, 380 ish to the basket. Flick something out to the left, right near the basket. Here we are on hole 16. It's uh, 360 feet. Again, just par three, pushing hyzer. That should be, I think it's parked. And parked we are. Oh, yeah. All right. This is a iconic hole, 395 feet, straight ahead up into the little rock mount. Awesome skyline in the back. Doesn't get any better than this. again we are not parked um if i was parked from down there i would go back and throw a mulligan but i'm too lazy to walk back there so we're just going to jam the putt throwing a mulligan <laughs> Basket's way down there, uh, another 700, about 50 feet. You can see the basket way down there. Um, correction, I only have one or two mulligans left, I'm sorry. I was recounting, I only have two mulligans left. I don't know why I was thinking I had four. I think I wish I would have four for how low, how bad I'm playing. That's good. Right, baskets right there, probably. I know I keep on saying this, but probably 350 ish. Probably a little bit further. Um, Alright, we're going to go mulligan. I'm going to throw this yellow bit. too long I almost hit the basket now hole one is uh I can it's a par four I can birdie it pretty often so if I'm too far I might just use my second mulligan right here and go into the last hole with no mulligans just putting all my all my chips in but we'll see we'll see where we're at this <laughs> um, yeah um definitely did almost hit the basket about 50 feet short. That was so weird. I, I guess I thought the tree behind us was going to pass through, but so we got to hit one. I probably won't use a mulligan. Oh, well, yeah, I probably won't use a mulligan. No, I have to. I have to. Because if I get a three on the other one, on the whole one, then I'm going to be left with the mulligan left over. All right, walking up to the last hole, our hole 18, actual hole one. Zero mulligans, and I did not birdie the last one, so we're still six down. Not looking too good, but uh, hopefully we get the three right here. 
finish seven down. It's not terrible, <clears throat> but definitely could have shot way better. I'll probably do this challenge again sometime in the near future. Here we are. Glorious hole one. Basket is around this corner. You can see those rocks. It's in that rock mound right over there. So we just got to pump. We're going to pump a stable destroyer right here. Get around the corner and hopefully get a good little skip. It's a decent shot. Kind of grip locked it a tad bit and hung it out too wide, but we got ourselves a flick. I'm going to go, um, yeah, flick with the driver, hang it out wide, and then let it crash into this hillside. And hopefully it'll just roll down to the basket. Appreciate y'all watching, uh, like and subscribe down below and uh, see